Good afternoon, this is Tina. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a query on an object. It's similar to query using a query and what, what should I say? Array. In last video, at the end, I show you how to query against the particular element in the array, right? So we're using index which is a start with a 0, 1, 2, 3 to uh, specify which element in the array you want to query against. And uh, for the object, it's going to have a similar syntax, uh, except uh, this, the difference is in the array, we're using index, and uh, in the object, we're using the key, which is the field name. Suppose uh, this is our restaurant collection. I just show you one document, right? Suppose you want to find all the restaurants, which is uh, uh, zip code is this one, 10462, okay? And uh, you cannot do like this way, okay? Uh, <clears throat> you cannot do like this way, like uh, uh, db.ista. I S T A U I restaurants dot find. You might think I just uh, you uh, I just uh, based on the uh, address and the zip code. You might think I do like this way. And here I have a zip code which is one zero four six two one zero what the four six two four six two. If I if I speak if I remember in Chinese, I can remember. But with uh, English, I really could. I kind of like have a short memory. Okay, this one will return anything, because uh, when we do like this way, it will trying to find a document which exactly has this one. You have to do exactly the match. Okay, and the correct way to do that is. Uh, we are against this one, right? So we're using a syntax like address dot zip code. Is the correct one? Uh, zip code. Then you give the value. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I made made a mistake. I have to do <laughs> this. Uh, what's the object? Curly brace. Okay, address dot zip code, and you give the value. What's the value? What's the value? One zero four six two. Okay. Okay. This is all the all the documents. Too much. Okay. Like uh, we can using a count. Count. Okay. Okay. Total is twenty six, and you can also using. I'm not sure because this one is a uh, string value. Uh, we cannot we cannot do 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 like greater or then I uh, probably we can do string is using alphabet order right okay. let's using a greater we can also greater this is alphabet order you are see which is all, all of them is greater than this one okay and you can add other conditions as you want suppose let me see another one if you want to do the coordinate based on this one, we can do. Okay, let's do this one. Based on address, the coordinate, and based on this uh, first element. I think I can do it. C O O R D, right? So we will do is based on the coordinate. C O O C O O R D, okay? C O O R D, and based on the first element. When, then we can use it first one. Ah, this one started with zero. This one means is a second element, which is uh, w one is the latitude, the other one is the longitude. Okay, I don't know which one is which one. Okay, so you can do like uh, uh, this one is not greater than 40. Okay, then you will see zero. <laughs> this one doesn't have any. Uh, which one is less than 40? Less than 40. Oh, 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 I know why. We shouldn't using the code. When we're using code, it's, in the, it's a string value. And uh, for the coordinate, the value is a number type. 
Okay, that's why. So you will see 70, and if we're using greater, you will see those. Okay. So I think that's it uh, for the query uh, on an object. Make sure you're using the field and using dot like uh, like you navigate in a JSON object, like a navigate uh, some like object dot 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 nested for, okay? Uh, I'm not sure if you understand, okay? The last uh, sentence I said, anyway. Just as as you navigate using the, in the JavaScript object using dot dot to navigate the same thing here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.